get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine, presenting the challenger, Chico. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Great. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like to draw time. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. What a tricky head kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. to these big leg kicks. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Under three minutes to go in round one. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, single collar tie now. Just over two minutes to go. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice leg kick lands. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the bottom. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice head kick. Again, the fighter of eights. Stuff the takedown, no problem. It's such a fast leg kick. Another clinch position. Big knee lands there. Get out of the way. Take down right now. 
Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There's no tell on that leg. Final seconds of round one. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Real nice body. The one two punch is true. Whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. There it is. Longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Good punch lands. Just misses with the jab there. While really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh, blocks the shot. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big leg kick land. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Right hook to the head blocked. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Throws the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And he caught the kick. Final seconds here of round two. Ten minutes in the books. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad.
unable to connect there. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, I'm not sure any heavyweight would have beat this champion, this man here tonight, the UFC heavyweight king, getting it done by TKO. The flurry of strikes just absolutely too much for his opponent here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 36 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.